Andrea and Bob. And uh, today is Monday, June 29th, 2020. And guess what today is? Something very significant happened 30 years ago. I mean, you don't have to say exactly how many years it is. Right. More than five years ago. <laughs> but less than a hundred. Today's our anniversary. Woo! Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. You can't have him, he's mine. Okay, got all that out. <laughs> so, we're trying not to think about things we can't do, right? We're thinking about things we can do. Like, we well, like to go out for dinner on our anniversary. It's one of our big things. In fact, five years ago, we went on a cruise. How's that for going out for dinner? Yeah, that was a big dinner. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So, instead of going to, like, maybe Texas Roadhouse or something, we're just going to pick up food and bring it home. Which, for us, is the first time we've done that since the uh, quarantine. So, it's kind yeah. of a big deal. It's our first time ordering food and picking it up and bringing it home in months. And we figured if Dr. Fauci thinks it's okay to do it, it's probably probably be okay right Lynn? yeah we can always bring it home. we're getting hot food so we can always bring it home and throw it in the oven or, or microwave it if we're really paranoid but I I, I, think we're I heard something or read something that it's a lot harder to get it from ingesting it you have to breathe stuff into the air which I guess you could breathe really deeply over your food and suck some particles in. I don't know okay <laughs> I'm not a scientist disclaimer <laughs> There's been no, um, there's no, been no public publicity of anybody getting it from food. No. So. But we're being careful. We don't want to get it. Look, I know it's a big thing. People are politicizing it now, and whether to wear a mask or not to wear a mask. We have to still wear them in Pennsylvania. Mask. We're required to wear them in Pennsylvania. Uh, Even if we weren't, we would. We would anyway, because to not... You know, if anybody gets sick, we don't want to get anybody sick or them to get us sick or whatever. But myself and one of my sons has some immunocompromisation. No, that's not a word. You have that. I he have has that. He has, oh, I don't want to go into detail of what breathing he has. Issues. He has breathing issues and he has something else. But, so, yes, we're going to be a little more careful than most people are, you know. And don't take it as some political thing. Take it as... Paranoid family. No, that we don't want to get sick. Yeah. I don't want to get sick. Anyway, let's not discuss it. Oh, the light's still green. Go, well, it's orange. Green means go. It was, it was green. orange. Oh, it was. So Saturday, we had Bobby and Dave over for a late... Father's Day barbecue because last weekend it was raining and we set it up we had two long tables oh look here's oh I wanted to show this this is this is a necklace that Bob gave me in high school it's a locket anyway <laughs> he bought it at the bazaar the bazaar of all nations and what, what town is that called in Clifton Heights in Clifton Heights it's not there anymore but it was an amazing place anyway it was an indoor um, flea market it looked like a place. flea market place but it was open all the time and they had the best cinnamon rolls there didn't they yeah and they had some sticky rolls they had a lot of dedicated stores yeah anyway yeah. so what was I getting back oh yeah so we we had the barbecue which I think it went pretty smoothly I had we had we took a long table and put it out there and we had Bobby and Dave's chair down one end, and we had the rest of our chairs down the other end. And we had, we gave them... And they them, were downwind also. They, yeah. And they, and they had, we gave them a, a thing with the, you can wipe your hands, what's that called? Sanitizer. Hand sanitizer, and we had a hand sanitizer. And I put like, I split the potato salad into two bowls, and the deviled eggs into two bowls. Because anyway, they said we send them home with stuff all the time anyway. So whatever they didn't eat, they they covered it up and put it in a bag and take it home with them. And Bob barbecued. He did uh, really well. The camera came, thing came out well. We had hot dogs, hamburgers, hot 
hot links. He makes this hamburgers that's got beef and ground turkey in it that Bobby loves. So. Bobby and I made it one time. We, we kind of winged it and made it together. And it's, uh, it, it's easy. It's I usually use like two and a half pounds of beef and one and a half pounds of turkey. So it's four pounds of meat that I cut up. And then I add a packet or two of onion soup mix and Worcestershire sauce. And that's it. Mix it all up. Make patties. And then he made kebabs. You know, he put, he put meat, he put beef on a stick and he put some... He also made some that was just pineapple and some that was just I didn't, uh, I didn't put the kebab, I didn't do kebab with, get the kebab with pineapple because I didn't have enough sticks. Oh. So I just grilled the pineapple in, in Oh, he did long pieces yeah. of the pineapple. And we had cake for dessert, but nobody was hungry for the cake, so I just sent cake home. Now, I guess, I don't know, Bob thinks it went pretty well, but it was stressful to me. It was stressful, but it went well. Because, you know, well, Bobby and Dave, they both work out in the public, you know, and weren't social distancing to my, to my strict qualifications. <laughs> they both think they've had it before, and they might have. I I'm don't not think they did. Because the thing that Bob, Bobby thought he had it, that time that I took him to the doctors at the beginning of everything, and he didn't have a fever. You don't always have a fever. And when they changed the uh, when they changed the um, the list of symptoms, they had a lot more of the symptoms. So I'm not saying they did or didn't, but they both, believe they did. They might have. They're young and they're healthy. They don't yeah. have any. They don't have any underlying symptoms that would make it especially difficult for yeah. them if they catch it. So. Right. Anyway, so what I was saying was of all this. I don't want to think about things that we could have done or things that we've done other years. I just want to think about what's the stuff we can do. And one of the things we can do is order food and pick it up. Right? Cheese steaks. Cheese steaks. We're going to have cheese steaks. And if you never had cheese steak from the Philly area, you're missing something. It's one of those foods if you go to Philadelphia, you have to get one. And I'm not talking Geno's yeah. and Pat's. Everybody they're okay. They're good for tourist food. That's where but they're not great. Go. <laughs> we got a lot of things to say about places tourists go. There's like a breakfast place. I'm not going to say what it is, but there's a breakfast place that is always filled up around here that tourists go to. And it's packed in there and the service is bad. It's and cash it's cash only. only. It's cash only and I think it's only got good reviews because it's reviewed on those places that uh what do you call it travel websites yeah. and um they have they happen to have a pancake that falls over the edges of the plate we've been there like twice we're never going back and we went once no you're right we went yeah twice. we went we twice went once, once with us and once with we know a better breakfast place but we're not going to mention it you because keep talking but i'm going to go oh bob has to go in and get medicine and stuff i have a mask too but I can't be in public if, if it's possible. Well, I shouldn't be out. I shouldn't be out and about. But I also get... I don't want to go into detail. I get very stressed. And my stress response is not to run. It's the other kind. <laughs> fight or flight? Someone there's, going down. There's, fight or, <laughs> there's a thing called fight or flight. I'm not the flight person. Flight. So, you flight sometimes. I flight sometimes, but it's because I'm trying to keep myself from the fight part. But when it's too stressful, it's like, yeah. I saw this mask. I saw this mask listed on, I think it was listed on YouTube, and it said, <laughs> it said, touch me and your first karate lesson is free. <laughs> I was like, okay. Does that count as a warning? Does that count as a legal warning? Because, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't remember what I was saying. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't be going into the places because I'm not supposed to go in unless it's an emergency. The only places I've gone into, I, I had to go to a doctor's appointment a couple weeks ago. I don't know what to do about doctor's appointment, about regular doctor's appointment. See, 
because I have some medical issues, I have like four specialists that I see throughout the year. Some of them I see every three months, and some of them I see every six months. And, well, one of them is my neurologist. I mean, need to make my neurology appointment, but I'm wondering if she'll let me just do it over the telephone, you know? I don't know. The sun is so bright and I didn't put any sunblock on. I'm gonna get sun damage. Oops. So, we're gonna get some food from a local place. We're gonna get cheese steaks and Oh, Bob might pick up a dessert while he's in here. I forgot about that. I hope he doesn't text me. <laughs> so, so what are you? What are you guys up to? What's, what's new? <laughs> My sister hates when I say that. I think I said that before. I know I said I was gonna do. Ooh, I got dog hair on my gloves, my sunblock things. I know I said I was going to do that thing where I'm going to do virtual, a virtual trip to the UK on the computer, but I haven't set it up yet. I haven't finished writing everything down that I want to do. There's two things I want to do. There's two shows I want to see in the UK that I've always wanted to see. One is Mousetrap, which is always playing. It's a play by Agatha Christie. And it's only written as a play. I don't think you can read. The, I don't want to read the book. I want to see the play. And it plays in the UK all the time. With good actors, you know. So I want to see that. And I'd love to see Chess. It's a musical that's never come to the US. And it's usually playing in the UK. So. I'd love to see both of those. Um, everything else is... I've discovered things in my backyard, you know, since I've been, since we've been quarantining. I've discovered different plants and insects and things. It's like there's a whole little world. There's a whole tiny little world. Well, I think that's all I got to say for today. Um, Bob and I are going to have our cheese steaks in a little bit. Well, he's probably going to get a pizza steak. He usually gets a pizza steak with mushrooms. And I get a cheese steak with fried onions and mayonnaise. So, that's going to happen. And uh, I hope you're having a good day. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.